Can you judge a frozen meal by its cover? Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning. You know, I just had a quick thought. Can you imagine what an episode of Good Mythical Morning would look like at night? And maybe not even on YouTube? That's interesting. But if it was on at night and it wasn't on YouTube, it probably ended up being pretty wild, right? Yeah. Like, it'd be uncensored and unrestricted. Yeah. With all kinds of adult games Ooh. and adult segments. What? and adult conversations that you'd never expect on a normal episode of this show. Right. Right? Uh-huh, right. Yeah, like a mature audience only type thing. And we'd probably have to call it Good, Good Mythical, Mythical evening. evening. Should we do it? No. Yeah, we should. Yes. Right? Great, announcing Good Mythical Evening, a one night only ticketed live streaming event on October 28th. Are you mature enough to handle it? Probably. Are we? Probably not, but we're doing it anyways. Tickets go on sale for everybody September 30th, but second and third degree Mythical Society members get early access to tickets beginning on September 24th, so sign up at Mythical, 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 mythical Society.com society. to get them before anybody else. Uh -huh. For all the details, check out GoodMythicalEvening.com. Mm. It's gonna be live, and it's gonna be wild. Yeah. Now, speaking of wild, let's talk about the wildest thing that I know of. Frozen meals. Oh, <laughs> gosh. This is so wild. And when you're dealing with frozen meals, expectations aren't really that high. But sometimes the picture on the box is so far from what you actually get inside, the disappointment is just too much to handle. And we are not the only ones who have observed this. Over on the Reddit community, Frozen Dinners, mm -hmm. users rate meals based on how well the box photos stack up against the actual food. And let me tell you, there are some truly heinous looking microwave meals out there. So with that in mind, we're about to drop some truth bombs on the freezer section. It's time for On the Box, food looks so pretty and composed. You can't hide the truth though. Get ready to be exposed. Straight from the bowels of the Frozen Dinners subreddit, we'll be presented with a series of frozen foods, which we will first analyze the box photos of, mm -hmm. and then we'll each get our own cooked version of that frozen meal to analyze as well. We'll compare the dish with the photo on the box and as if they were a collection of spray tan tylers at an Alabama beauty pageant, which I've been to many of those. We'll both give each meal a score of one to 10 based on how well they meet the visual expectations set by the box. And if the taste of the meal exceeds our expectations, we'll tack on a bonus point. Okay. And if it doesn't meet our microwave meal expectations, we'll subtract a point. All right. I hope you boys are hungry because your first delicious meal is Stouffer's Fried Chicken and Mashed Potatoes Bowl. Yeah, I'm this hungry! This bowl is filled with breaded white meat chicken, mashed potatoes, gravy, and corn. It looks so good! 1,300 Dang. milligrams of sodium, too. Look okay. at that. Look at it. the, the right. meat we'll just sitting on the top with the corn poking out, the gravy. You know it's going to look just, just like, like that. that! Let's open her. Shabam! <laughs> 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 what? Oh, oh, it's, it's like oh a, my gosh! Look, no, we'll look at mine. It's got nothing broken up. I mean, evidence it's just of swimming. There's no chicken evidence. This, there, is that chicken? Let me get the evidence. It's like a swamp. Okay, we can't eat it yet because this is just the visual evaluation. Well, I, I mean, I at least see a couple of chicken mounds coming out of mine. Man, it's it's buried treasure. It's so different than what is on the bowl. I mean, how could it be any worse? I guess if I couldn't see any corn at all. Yeah, you're seeing some corn. Oh, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give this a two. You know what? I see some chicken. I'm gonna give it a three. All right, chicken gets a three. And now for a potential bonus point or another negative point, let's get one bowl full bite here. Well, yeah, it's not bad. You know what? A lot of, a lot of pepper in that. I'm a pepper man. It's very peppery. I'm giving it. A, I'm giving it a point. It was. It was so bad, and it tastes better than it looks. Not as good as that looks. I'll also give it a point because I, I kind of like it, and I'm a little embarrassed about that. Okay, so that gives us a total score of seven. Next on today's frozen food menu, you've got Banquet's classic Salisbury steak meal. This meal features gravy over Salisbury steak made with chicken, pork, and beef, Ooh. cream mashed potatoes, cinnamon apple dessert, and sweet corn. Chicken, pork, and beef in this thing? This thing's gonna have to have compartments for all that goodness, right? I would hope so. I mean, 
I don't expect it to have the the um, no bowl the cup for the apples. But yeah, everything's got to be at least on its own separated. And I would like to see a little steam coming off of that well, chicken, pork, not. and beef steak. Is chicken, pork, and beef together? Yeah, man. That's not what Salisbury steak. Well, let's just say Salisbury. Woo! That is fancy. Uh, okay. Look at. I mean, the corn is shriveled, but it is intact. The the steak has this like straight. It slid off. It's like a mudslide is happening. Well, there. first of all, this look, is a catastrophe. Look at the shape of the steak on the uh, the box. It's it's oblong. This is almost a perfect square. Like they just took it out of, of a loaf. There's no gr there's grill marks on this picture. No grill marks. Oh no no no! I see some grill marks. No, on No, that's this. not grill marks, son. What it? That's just nasty striations. Oh my gosh! You've just raked. Uh, off cover it back up. A lot of. Yes. Yeah, let me paint that. Put the back blanket down. back paint on. That back down. So they they replaced grill marks with actual divots. They just I think they, right before they put it Ooh. in the package, the worker reaches down and scratches it. Mine doesn't have with a, spe with a special glove. Did you? Oh, I forgot to scratch the steak. Damn it. Uh, mine are on the bottom side. Oh yeah. So mine was even upside down. So that's a demerit. I mean, what is this jelly? Gravy jelly? It's gravy jelly. Is that like a normal? Is I just didn't think about what a Salisbury steak it. Well, have was. you ever had yeah. steak in Salisbury? You've been to Salisbury, North Carolina, right? I th you, probably. You had steak there? I don't think so. I I would eat this type of stuff as a kid. It's okay. I'm trying to figure out is this worse than the last one because I can see all of the components. It's not worse. That bowl was just like something you pull out of a manhole. I mean, this is better than that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna at, give it a four. A f I was gonna say three. Oh. I went from one to three. Okay. So I went up, now let's, let's taste, taste it. it. I mean, look at how desiccated that corn is. Biting the corn is like eating a That's, dried up tick. That is really, really bad. The apples are pretty good. The steak. Apples are pretty good. The steak tastes scary. The Once steak you know is awful. All the different animals that are involved. I think I'm gonna have to give it a negative one. I'm, 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 taking, a ne I'm taking a point off for the taste, because y'all- Me too. Y'all have offended the whole city of Salisbury. That brings us to a total score of five. This next dish comes to you from Amy's. This is Pollock Paneer, which is cream spinach and cheese with Rajma Dal, organic red kidney bean, beans and a ginger garlic sauce, and basmati rice. Now that, I mean, this is quite a presentation on the box. You've yeah. got a nice dark plate. Yeah. I love a dark plate. I do a dark plate. And if uh, Amy meets my standards. Amy, first of all, Amy does a good job. Yeah. Amy's like a, she, it's kind of a Whole Foods type of situation. Like you'll, you'll see Amy in the Whole Foods. Let's see what she's done. Oh, Amy. It's Amy, it's, Amy, Amy. It's that, got a bit of a Well, first of all, it's not shell a, over it's it. It's not a dark plate. Let me just say that right now. I mean, I no. I wouldn't have thought about it. I'm a little afraid of this the spinach stuff here. Cream spinach. I feel like if you break through the surface, there's a totally different color underneath. Well, you're gonna I think if you break through the surface, you're gonna get to the Let's do it. The, to the paneer. Up. Uh, so it's in there, and you really can't expect it to defy gravity and just float on top like it is in the picture. But now I do notice there is a strategically placed piece of parsley did right you, there in the middle. Did you get that? I'm not locating the parsley. Ooh. Are you? You know what? I'm taking one point off of my overall score because of that. Because that's definitely implying that that was in there. This I, doesn't look horrible to me. It's about. It looks almost as good as you could get in a frozen situation but still nothing like the plate. I'm going all the way to five. And I will say, if you look at the configuration, you've got the rice all the way across the top, you've got the spinach on the lower left, it and stayed together. the beans in the lower right, so they stayed with the box configuration, and maybe someone would have convinced them they didn't have to do that. Yeah. I'm gonna give them a six, well, because I'm I, not holding the parsley again. No, I did give them a six, but I took the five away for the parsley. I'm not. The one away, so I'm down to the So three. let's give it a tasty taste. And I'm not gonna mix these, because that's not really what you would do. I'm mm. gonna eat that individually. Mmm, spinach not bad. That is really tasty. The rice is kinda like no. in a whole section, but it's just rice. That definitely gets a point. Yeah. It's, I'd like to give it more. It tastes very good, Amy. It's, it's more than decent, girl. That's a total score. Probably shouldn't call her girl. L woman? 13. Lady? Amy. I'll just call you Amy. Just call her Amy. 13. 
Get ready for Hungry Man's Double Meat Bowl. That's two us. slices of savory Angus beef meatloaf with bourbon gravy, cheddar grits, red peppers, and onions. Mm. Are, we, mm. are we Hungry Man or Double Meat? What, I, let's, let's be Double Meat. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Let's come see Double Meat tonight. <laughs> Good mythical evening. <laughs> now, this is setting some really, really high expectations with just what's happening. Yeah, I mean. No double meat, the way it's like crisscrossing. First of all, there is a bowl. Pour, pouring down. Yeah, and there, the meat slices are almost vertical. Yeah. Well, it's going to look just like that in there, I'm sure. Let's you know? see. And this has got grits. I, you know I'm interested. How I feel about grits. Oh! Well, hey, hey, this hey, this could be way worse. Crazy looking. But think about it. I mean, think about how much worse that could be. Like, you can see them. I mean, they're not doing a little dance for me like they are on the box, but they're there. It's almost like you can see through the meat. Like, it's not, I, I like the fact that it's. It looks like volcanic rock. Yeah, it's like, like a pumice. pumice stone. Are you sure this didn't get changed out for the double pumice? And look at mine. I mean, you can definitely tell by the edges that mine could come out like a disc. I would love to, for like, you to put that on a dark plate just like that. Frisbee golf this could thing. Could you push that right onto a dark plate? I'm actually not displeased with this. I'm a bit scared, but it's only one type of meat source in this thing, Angus beef. But it's not a bowl. Is it's, this a bowl? Sure, yeah. I mean, if you, go to, if you go to Chipotle it's, it's, it's and you deeper. get a bowl, it, it, kinda, it sort of yeah. does look yeah. like this. I'm giving this a six, y'all. I mean, there's no gravy over top of anything. It's still pretty sad. I mean, it's sad, yeah. Five. Okay, let's taste it. Maybe it'll taste great. The pumice comes right, up, right apart. I like grits. Grits and gravy. There's a film over my grits. The pepper is very peppery. I like that. It's rather bland. Did you get a pepper in the grits? The pepper's the only thing that actually has taste. The meat itself and the gravy it has a consistency think about of mash, mush. It's like, but think about how much better it is than the one that was scratched by the employee. It's oh, it's better than that. But it, the meat, the meat is like ground mush, and it doesn't taste good. I am, I'm definitely not giving it a point. Well, I am. You like it? Yeah. But actually, taste it. I did. Uh, I'm not going to give it a negative point. I don't though. actively hate it. It's just right in the middle. I actively like it. I mean, so no more scores. For me. So no additional point from you, one from me, that brings us to a total of 12. And last but not least, we have mm. Stouffer's Cheese Lovers Lasagna. Lasagna with low-fat ricotta, mozzarella, parmesan, romano, and asiago cheeses, and seasoned tomato sauce. It's a nice, cute little box it's very here. Cute. Very, very small. You know, the thing that occurs to me now that I think may apply to everything that we've yeah. that we've tasted and analyzed. You see, there's like a plate here, and you put the. I, you know, we know there's not going to be a plate under here. Correct. I think for all of these, they're thinking, hey, you cook this thing in the microwave, you take it out, you plate it, and then you use our box as inspiration, inspiration? for how to dress the plate before you serve it to yourself or your 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 partner, your loved ones, whatever. So I just feel like we're being a little too hard on them because. It's up to the person to plate it and dress it. Have you ever done that? But I've never done that. I agree with you that I do think that they're trying to give you something to aspire to, but you can't help but be a human and see something and make a decision to buy it based on what it looks like. So and you gotta compare it with the real thing. Okay, well, let's keep going. But I mean, that is why at the end, we, we aren't just gonna crap on all this stuff. Oh no, we're we gonna do pick that. the worst one, and maybe this is it. And we're gonna give them some constructive criticism, ways that they can make it better. You know, like give them a fresh coat of paint. Totally agreed. All right, that <laughs> is a rude awakening. <laughs> oh, yep, that's an, a, how long a second can, rude awakening. How long can we make noise with the cloche? What uh, I mean. First of all, the color, if this is a vibrant orange red, well, it's it's close. Just to kind of go with what you were saying, I mean, it was like. What are you spanking it for? <clears throat> what? Okay, this is your version of oh, plating. Look, it says Pete on the bottom. Pete? It says Pete. It does say Pete. It says, I think I got Pete's lasagna. <laughs> Because it says Pete on the packaging. It says -E -E. Pete A17. I think I got Pete's. I'm in Pete's seat, A17. All right, so I'm going to compare the box. No, I can't even see the box now. <laughs> to mine like this, and oh. you're going to compare well, it like that. Uh, yep. 
We got another box okay, here. Okay, yeah. Okay. There. I just wanted to give it a chance because. Do you see any of the ricotta layers? Mm. First of all, you did it upside down, so there's no cheese. I see no cheese, no white cheese on the top of mine. Yeah, it's this completely is, red on top. This is a, this it's like a cauldron of nightmares. The fact that it doesn't have any cheese on top, and that was like the one thing they could have gotten right, and also the the number of squigglies that are on the box. Like I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squigglies on the top. And look how big the squigglies are on that thing. There's three. I got three squigglies. Three squigglies, eight squigglies. We got five squigglies. Where they where'd they go? I guess Pete has them. I'm gonna give it a four. When you take it out, you can see the cross section. Yeah. I see a little ricotta. I I'll go with four. That's not. I mean, you know. I think it. it's gonna taste amazing because nobody tell Pete I'm eating this. I put it right back in there. I remember this. Maybe he won't notice. I mean, I feel like I'm performing surgery on something. Taste profile is pretty good. The fact that it was microwaved and what that does to the edge of a lasagna, I mean, maybe Pete would be into it, but I don't really like it. It's, um, it's good, it's, it's about as good as I thought. I'm not adding or subtracting a score. I'm sticking with my I number. think I'm staying neutral as well. I'm gonna stick with my four, four and four for a total of eight, which means that with a total of five points, banquets, oh, Salisbury steak meal, is the lowest scoring dish of the bunch. You are the loser, Banquet Salisbury Steak, but we're not gonna leave you without that fresh coat of paint, you know? Just try to make things better for you. You know, I, I think I think the main thing that you might wanna think about doing to make this thing better is um, just kind of, you know, dip it slowly into actual paint and just cover up all evidence of what that steak part looks like. If you can only get one side, I definitely recommend yeah. the steak side. Cover the steak side up. Yeah. Fool everybody. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hey, Mythical Beasts. I'm Matt. I'm about to spin this record. But first, it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Click the top link to watch us discover the world's weirdest popsicle flavors as made by the Mythical Crew in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Join us on October 28th for the big one night only and mature audience only event, Good Mythical Evening. Get tickets at goodmythicalevening.com.